First and foremost, I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh, the Mahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakadash, the Rhonus to the Elves, the Apostle Great Millstone, the Thomas Truth and Rule Will, Peace, Lessons, Citation, and Akamat there, scattered broad to the four corners of the earth, that serving the truth and that truth and sincerity, to I say Shalom Wong. This is the brother Nabala come to another video in the spirit. And uh, what sparked me to do this video was, um, you know, today at camp, you know, we had two Northern Kingdom come up. You know, and, you know, this was inquiring about what we had going on. I was asking questions. And uh, one of the questions that he asked was, um, he said, him being, uh, I'm afraid it's just how he phrased it. He said, him being a normal citizen, uh, what should he do? Because we was giving him all the information. We was giving him, um, you know, giving him the breakdown of the MOTB, you know, telling him he's, uh, he's you know, he's Israelite, telling the names of, you know, the Lord. Yahweh, which is Yah and his son name, Yahweh Shai, you know, and some of the things that are going to happen. So he asked, you know, what should he do? So that sparked me to do this video. And first things first, one thing he has to do is, since we had, we gave him the names, and now since you know the names, you have to believe. You have to believe on Yahweh Shai. Okay? And I'm going to grab this scripture. This is John 7 and 38. It says, he that believeth on me... As the scripture has said, out of his out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Khan. So he has to believe on Yahweh Shai. And once he starts to truly believe on Yahweh Shai, then what? Out of his belly shall flow living wa waters. The Lord will allow uh, the Holy Spirit to start dealing with him, start supping with him. And then he'll start, you know, to be to be able to understand these scriptures. You know, to be able to see, you know, Lord Lord willing, he the Lord will give him that spiritual eye to be able to see. Things that are happening and give him the spiritual ears to be able to hear as well. So when he starts hearing these scriptures, he can understand the breakdown of them. Okay? Because what? I'm going to grab this. This is Amos 3 and 7. It says, Surely the Lord, Yahweh, would do nothing but reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So the Lord only reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. I know to the, to the true men of the Lord, to the true believers. The one that truly believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and the ones that are truly seeking him. The scriptures say, seek the Lord while he may be found. So the ones that are truly seeking him, he's going to allow you to, to uh, he's going to allow the Holy Spirit to sell with you and allow you to, to understand these secrets, okay, which are, which are the scriptures. Because it's not for everybody. It's only for the ones who are truly believed. I'm going to grab this. This is Mark 4 and 11. It says, and he said unto them, unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of Yahweh. But to them that are without, all these things are done in parables. Come, because Yahweh Shai was just speaking parables, okay? And every and it wasn't for everybody to understand those parables. It was only for the ones who he selected to hear, okay? Which which happened to be the twelve disciples. It's like you're the twelve disciples who was amongst Yahweh Shai. To, to truly understand and be able to break down these scriptures. And same thing with us. You know, we we truly believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh So he's he's giving us the wisdom and knowledge and understanding. I think you can be able to understand these scriptures and to, and to be able to break them down, be able to feed the sheep. Okay, but it's not it this wasn't given for everybody. So that's 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 something that that we should that we should be telling people, you know, because that we're gonna probably that question going to probably come up a lot. And this is not my first time hearing this question before, but, you know, this just sparked me to do this video. Like, for people out here who, you know, are, who are in question and, and looking for answers, you know, first things first, you know, find out the names, which is Yahweh, and his son's name Yahweh Shai, and then what? Believe on those names. Start praying in those names. And then after that, you know, it's all up to the Lord. But that's first things first. I'm going to grab this. This is Hebrews 11 and 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Con. So you have to have faith. You have to, you have to believe and have faith. That Yahweh is Yahweh, and that His Son is Yahweh Shai, and that Yahweh Shai is He is sent here to save us. 
that he is salvation, exactly what his name means. And that he's awarding that there is to seek him. That we are going to be rewarded for doing this work. That's because you don't see the reward now. You have that faith that we are going to see get a reward. And it was that reward to be delivered out of this place. Okay? To be saved out of this place. You know, to 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 um to have those new bodies. You know, to have the law, statutes, commandments. To be instilled inside of us. To be the new judges and the new kings of the new earth. Okay? You have to believe that. And once you start believing, what? When you start believing it and, and showing your faith, you have to start what? Putting in the work. Because faith and works go hand in hand. Okay, you can say you believe in all you want, but how are you showing you believe? What works do you have to show that? And I'm going to grab this scripture. To back that up. This is um, James 2 and 20. It says, But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead kind? So you got to put in work. So it's a process to this thing. You know, get into the knowing. I don't know figure out what those names are. Okay, after you figure out what that is, you know, start believing and praying in those names. And once, you start, once, you, once that starts happening, you know, you start getting into the scriptures. You know, you start learning, becoming learned. And then once you start doing that, you start, you know, building yourself up, building your faith up, you know, building up yourself with this wisdom. And then once you start doing that, you start doing the work. Because what it says, give diligence and make our calling election sure. So you got to start doing the work and be diligent in giving the, doing the work. Because this is this is all we're gonna have in the times of the come. That's why we gotta take, we gotta take advantage of this time we we have, to to gather up as much wisdom and knowledge and understanding as we can. Because this is all we're gonna have in those times. You know, he was talking to the man like he was listening, but you know he was trying to go by his other day, but the spirit wouldn't let him leave. The spirit wouldn't let him leave until we gave him everything he needed, and now wherever he does that. Whatever he does with that, that's on him. I'm going to grab this scripture. This is Psalms 119 and 50. It says, This is my comfort in my affliction, for thy word hath quickened me kind. So ultimately, these words is going to give you comfort. Okay, when we're catching hell and 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 all hell really starts breaking loose, we're gonna we're gonna meditate and remember these things, remember things we have learned. The scriptures say wisdom and knowledge should be displayed at our time. So we're gonna we're gonna think about these things. We're gonna have the answers. So when all hell start breaking loose and we going through, we going through. We're gonna understand why it's happening. And we're gonna have the answers of, of the why the things are happening, and we're gonna be okay. And the Lord is gonna sustain us. So that's pretty much it. Uh, Lord, when this video was edifying, I'm gonna close off again with our praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakadash, Shalom.